Hello everyone and welcome to the part 2 video of creating a task manager application using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Guys, if you haven't watched the part 1 video, click on the i button to navigate to the part 1 video where we are creating the front end. In this video, we'll be creating the back end logic for our task manager application. Watch this video till the end if you want to learn more about it. Now before we move on, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for the future updates. Just a quick info guys, Simply Learn has got a postgraduate program in full stack web development in collaboration with the Caltech University. In this course, you're going to learn the modern coding techniques with the bootcamp level intensity and gain all you need to be a full stack technologies. So guys, you can check out the link in the description box. Now guys, let us add the backend part. We'll be using JavaScript to add the logic so that our frontend application could interact with the backend. So let us create a function first, okay? And I will name this function as add task. Okay, now what I have to do guys, now let us declare a variable called input, okay? And in this input, I will say, let us get the element by ID, okay? So document, dot get element by id and in this I want to say I need a task input. Okay. Now similarly I will create another variable for uh, okay let's rename it as task input. Okay. Now we will create another variable with the name as task list. Okay. So all over here And in this, I will add the task list. Pretty good. Now, let us add some logics. So if I say if the input value is an empty string, then I would say, please add a task, okay? So let's write that logic. So it will be under if and else condition. So if task input, okay? Now I'm gonna use this variable and I will use value when this is equals to empty string, okay? Now, for the same purposes, I would say, okay. Now, if the input value is an empty string, then I would say alert, okay? Please enter a task. And with that said, guys, I will return. Okay. Now similarly, let us create some list. Okay. Now, so that our certain elements would be created and it would be added in the DOM. So let us create another variable called li. Okay. And in this, I would say document dot create element. Li. Okay. Now similarly, I would create a text node. So where text node same equals to document dot create element. Okay, I'll copy this. And in this, I would say document dot create text node. Okay. So it will be creating a text node. And in this, I would say task input dot value. Now similarly, I would append this child, okay? So for appending it into our DOM, I would say li dot append child, okay? And 
I would add this element called text node. That sounds pretty cool. Now let's move on and let us add our delete button to the DOM. So for creating the delete button guys, what we can do all over here, okay, we write the same principles like where delete button and this will be equals to document dot create element okay and in this will be the button now I would change the inner HTML of the same so by typing the delete button delete dot delete button dot inner HTML okay and this will be changed to delete then the same on click and I would say task list okay the same list which we have created and I would say remove the child and the element which I have created li I would add it all over here sounds pretty cool now let's move on to the next part okay now delete button is a function okay just remember this okay now we have completed this part now let us create a complete button for the same so we'll create where complete button which is equals to document dot create element in this I will create the complete button so document dot create element and I'll just add the name as button pretty good now what I will do next I will change the inner HTML so the same name I'm gonna copy it and I would say complete button dot inner HTML which is equals to say complete so you would be seeing this in the DOM as when you are changing the, uh, the status by clicking on the complete button so we'll be changing or manipulating a DOM by this now it will show completed and let us create a function okay to implement that logic so let us copy this and complete button dot on click okay and this will be a function li dot class list dot toggle and I would say it as completed okay now let us append all these things so li dot append child okay we can see this method all over here and let us add the delete button Similarly, I'm going to add the complete button. Pretty good guys. Now let us append the li. Okay. So after this, I would say as the status has been updated all over here. So I would say task list dot append li and the task input value would be say it's equals to the empty string 
Now, let us break down this code and understand this one by one. Okay, there's some error showing all over here. Let us figure it out. So it is function, okay. okay. As you can see, it should be small. Okay. <coughs> now our backend logic for this UI has been done. And we could see some minute errors also all over here. So just remove this one more uh, equal to sign. So now let us break down this code one by one. So we can see there's a variable I have created where task input. Okay, so what this does basically, this is going to retrieve the input element with the ID called task input from the HTML document and it is going to assign the variable as task input. Then similarly I have done for the task list, what is going to do guys, this also line we're going to retrieve the element with the ID name as task list from the HTML document and it has been assigned to this variable. Now here the logic has been written that if the value written all over here, okay, so this condition is going to check if the task input is an empty string. So it displays an alert that please enter a task. Now, where ally equals to document dot create element ally. If we look up to this line, it means that it is going to create a new list item, okay, ally, and it is going to assign a variable ally to it. Then similarly, I have created a text node, okay. So document dot create text node, what is going to do? It is going to create a new text node containing the input value of the task input and it is going to assign to this variable called text node. Now if we move on a little bit more, you can see li dot append child is there. Okay. Now if we go on to this line, this line means that it is going to append the new text node containing the value of the task input okay, with the newly created li item. Similarly, I have created the delete button all over here. So delete button is being created in the HTML document, okay. This uh, element is going to get added. Now, delete button dot inner HTML equals to delete. What this line is going to do guys, this line is going to set the inner HTML content of the delete button to delete. Now, when we are on clicking this button, what is going to happen? This is basically removing the task list, okay, from the given list. Now, similarly, the complete button is there. We are creating the complete button, okay? And it is going to set the inner HTML to complete all over here. And on clicking this button is going to toggle that it has been completed. Now we have appended delete button and complete button to our DOM. As far as the manipulation we are doing on the UI, the backend is going to take care of it. Now let us see the UI and again try to understand this code. Now let us see on the browser and see how we have implemented our backend logic and how it is manipulating the front end part of it. Now let us go back to our browser and check the application. So guys, as you can see, this is our task manager application. Now let us try to add a task, say gym at 9 p.m. Okay. Then we can add a task like studying gym on at 7 p.m. Cooking at 10 p.m. Now let us see that I have completed my this task that studying German at 9. So I can just click on complete and you can see after toggling this button, there's a line which cuts this off and shows that this task is completed. Now, if I want to remove this task, guys, I can click on the delete button and see from our DOM, it gets deleted. Similarly, if I could mark this as completed, this as completed, it would be completed. But if I want to delete all this, still you could delete it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our today's video on creating a task application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.